sort of a Mac Daddy, and uh, you let us give you a makeover. Only temporarily, of course. 312-832-4180 is our number. Our next guest is John. He says his two friends, Silky Steve and Magnum Johnson, that one. hang out at the local Taco Bell to pick up women and get dozens of phone numbers. But John says, you know, where else are they going to pick up women? In jogging suits, they go to Taco Bell, right? Yeah, they pick and up like women at Taco Bell all the nylon time. Nylon jogging suits, right? Yeah. Here are Silky Steve and Magnum Johnson straight from the Taco Bell. <laughs> What is shaking? What is up? Hey, hey, Webster, sit down. Sit down, Webster. Yeah, here we Put go. Right up. Sit. Have a seat. <laughs> what? What? Y'all don't know about this Southern twang. Hi, guys. Yeah. Okay, we got yeah. a little videotape. Take a look at their video first. You feel that, Doc? You feel that? <laughs> I never thought it would happen to any of my friends, but there's just no cure. They were average, just like this. Then they started hanging out with a different crowd. First, it was their clothes. They were way too shiny and way too flashy. Then came the jewelry, and I knew they were hooked. I didn't know what to do. Then they put on wigs, and I knew it was over for them. They had gone overboard. They maxed out. But now I know I'm not the only one. Look what Mac and did to my Stop the pain! Oh, yeah, Tornado. Oh, Webster! Well, Excuse me, Excuse cameraman. Me. Cameraman, could you get close up on me? <laughs> Parents at home, watch your damn kids. <laughs> this is what happens when they get on drugs. Skin, but he big like a rhino, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what? They're all getting makeovers. We'll see uh, how they look and also if they pass the lie detector test. Why don't you guys go on back and get started? We're going to give you all makeovers right now. Were you a total geek in high school, but now you're so sexy you work as an exotic dancer or adult entertainer? If you used to get bullied and harassed for being a geek, and now your body's so hot you're a stripper or adult entertainer... He had not pimped out women because there was some question. I thought, you know, people thought you were actually a pimp. You admitted that you had. You've been pimping for real. Uh, huh? Oh right, Diane? Am I right? Did I, I didn't read that wrong. This is Diane Robinson. You did all of our tests. He's a pimp. He's a pimp. That's what he said. For his friends, I guess. Pimps for his friends and takes mo takes money for providing women. Yeah. You should be ashamed of yourself. Look at you. Uh, I need huh? the money. I need the money. All right, Jeremy. Jeremy took a test. <coughs> Two questions for Jeremy. Jeremy said that women gave him gifts of money for free. He failed. <laughs> yeah. Jeremy said he went on a trip with a famous porn star. Pass. He passed it. He what passed is it. up now? You all just See? need to sit down and shut up. I wouldn't know a famous porn star, it's but he okay, passed the test. We'll finish up with our makeovers <laughs> right after this. Now, why are you shaking your head? What? Not is my like thought. just like a casual khakis and uh, don't like it? No. Nope. No good? Never get a woman like this? Wouldn't they get more women dressed like this than they would? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. All right. Okay, you ready to see Anthony? Remember Anthony? Can't forget Anthony. This is what he had on. Remember that? Yeah. Okay. And here is the new man, Anthony. Did you hear the women? What, Valerie? Honestly, Tornado was wrong.
right. Their whole demeanor changed. They're attractive. The you, demeanor. They're approachable. Yeah. They look better. They're quiet. Exactly. Silky Steve is up next. Silky Steve, oh, remember? Silky. Ah. He looks so different. Come on out, Steve. Because now he's just Steve, you know. <laughs> Dawson's Creek, man. Hey, no. Come on, sit down, baby. I think he likes it. You like it, don't you, Steve? Oh, it's all right. Oh, hey, no. Oh. Can I take him home? <laughs> he, he looks good like that. Very I trendy. Went there. How does, I went uh, there. You know, I went there. Johnson, <laughs> Mr. Uh, Johnson is backstage. This is what his friend was wearing. Remember that? Let's see how Magnum looks. Magnum. You know, Anthony took a lie detector test. Yeah, good, Anthony, right, how do you yeah. think you did? Definitely, definitely. Two questions. <laughs> you want to hear them? Yeah. yeah. First question. When Anthony said a woman bought him a car for free, eh, <laughs> failed. <laughs> When Anthony said that women give him gifts and money just for looking good, eh. You know, I passed. I don't know that one. You know, Anthony, they, they would be lining up for you if you keep looking like that. I'm telling you, I think the guys look so sexy like that, really. We want to thank uh, Active Endeavors for providing all of our clothes today for these guys, and we'll be right back. When you've been injured in a car wreck, or you're dealing with a Texas workers' compensation... ...stroke and heart attack. Cigarette smoking increases these risks, especially if you're a smoker over 35. Women who use the pill are urged not to smoke. Women who have blood clots, certain cancers, a history of heart attack or stroke, and those who could be pregnant should not use the pill. For more information, talk to your health care provider. If you're going to take the pill, why not take orthotricycline? Clinically proven to help your skin look better. Orthotricycline. Isn't it great to find the one that's right for you? Yes, we'll be. Seattle cop John Kanan's on the search for a missing woman. It's led him to a little town with a big secret. Now he's about to discover that in Wolf Lake, nothing is what it seems. There are those who can move between the world of the wolves and the world of the humans. It's not you. I think you know. Blue Diamond Phillips stars in Wolf Lake, CBS Wednesday this fall.